have a good weekend. So as a preliminary matter on the uh, Portland versus Lewis County matter, uh, Mr. Green has made a request uh, to uh, be able to videotape these proceedings. Mr. Green is uh, someone who has appeared before me on numerous occasions. Um, Mr. Green, if you would just, and I, I appreciate that you gave advance notice, but unless this is filed, it can't be the basis for the court's decision. So if you just go ahead and make the record that you normally do in my court. Uh, I'm Brian Green with Liberty's Champion Channel, and I'm following uh, this case, uh, Cortland versus uh, uh, Lewis County. And you're asking to be able to videotape these proceedings? That is correct, Your Honor. It, does anyone have an objection? And I'll start first with Mr. Thomas and Mr. Eisenberg. Do either of you have an objection to Mr. Green videotaping these proceedings? Mr. Thomas? No, Your Honor. Mr. Eisenberg? No, Your Honor. Does anyone else in the courtroom have an objection uh, to Mr. Green as a member of the media uh, videotaping these procedures, uh, proceedings? Not hearing any objection, Mr. Green, your request is granted. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. So this matter comes before the court regarding presentation of an order. Uh, the court had previously found that Lewis County had violated the Public Records Act. There had been a uh, penalties hearing and the court had made uh, a ruling regarding the penalty. Uh, the court asked the parties to attempt to reach agreement regarding the form of the order. Uh, I believe Mr. Thomas and Mr. Eisenberg did attempt to do that, but were unsuccessful. They each uh, submitted their own uh, respective uh, orders that they felt complied with the court's order, and they both noted this matter for presentation today. So um, it's somewhat procedural, but I am certainly happy to give both of you an opportunity to be heard as to why your respective order should be entered. I've reviewed all of the materials uh, you have provided as well as my prior notes uh, regarding the hearing and I've reviewed the transcript that Mr. Thomas uh, had attached as well. So Mr. Thomas, we'll start with you and then I'll hear from Mr. Eisenberg. And uh, because the PRA violation was found against Lewis County, I believe it would be appropriate to give you the last uh, opportunity to speak. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Um, I'll, I'll leave this brief. I, I think that it's um, laid out um, pretty well in the court filings. Um, so, plaintiff's position is that Lewis County's proposed order presents conclusions of law that this court never considered. Um, or possibly are wrong as a matter of law. And so this court should not sign that order. Um, the order that plaintiffs present um, was an order that plaintiffs tried to work with defendants on and not only looked at defendants' arguments about, or defendants' um, stance of what happened at this hearing or thoughts about what happened at this hearing and what this court found and plaintiffs' thoughts and then the record in order to formulate that. Um, First, Lewis County asked this court as a conclusion of law that there is no economic loss for the plaintiffs. Plaintiffs didn't even argue this. Um, th this court um, shouldn't even entertain this because it just taints the record in order for Lewis County in order to say, look, um, we got to win on something that wasn't even argued. Uh, it really doesn't, um, it really doesn't even, it shouldn't even in the record um, because it was never argued. Um, this court is building a record for appeal, and we need to have a record for appeal that's clean. Um, plaintiffs said last time their intent to appeal this um, ruling. Um, second of all, um, there are conclusions of law that are um, not that are wrong as a matter of law. Lewis County suggests the evidence suggests that Lewis County's capacity to timely respond was overwhelmed by the large number of requests. All agencies must perform their PRA duties consistent with resources and other essential functions. A lack of resources may cause an agency to fulfill those functions. But Mr. Thomas, help. I understand your reading, but again, if you could go a little bit slower, I think you're right at the edge of where the court reporter is gonna have difficulty keeping up with you. My apologies. Um, a lack of resources may cause an agency to fulfill those functions. 
but this does not indicate bad faith. And in fact, Lewis County repeatedly testifies and argues that Lewis County only had a part-time public records officer in violation of RCW 42.56.090. And the revised code of Washington requires um, in RCW 42.56.090, agencies to be open for inspection um, in the Public Records Act during the agency's, quote, customary business hours, end quote. And so Lewis County was required in order to be open, if they're open 40 hours a week, 40 hours a week with a public records officer there. And their argument to this court is, look, we don't, the, the penalty should have been mitigated. And this court found that the penalty should have been mitigated because they only had a public part-time public records officer. But that fact therein violates the law and shouldn't be held as a mitigator. Lewis County should not be rewarded for violating the law. And that's essentially what this court will be um, finding if it signs Lewis County's order as presented. And so the request for relief, we just ask that this court um, sign plaintiff's order. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Mr. Eisenberg. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, it was Lewis County's understanding of Your Honor's ruling that you made the ruling out loud and you indicated that you were adopting Lewis County's argument, basically, or reasoning on the penalty. You adopted the penalty that Lewis County proposed as Lewis County proposed it um, and indicated that you were uh, persuaded by the reasoning that we put forth in the briefing and argument. Um, so the proposed order that Lewis County provides tracks that briefing very closely. Uh, uh, the facts are almost identical, but set out in, you know, in numbered paragraphs instead of in, uh, so prose. Uh, and the conclusions are designed to reflect those that Lewis County briefed. It was, uh, I believe that this is uh, what your honor ruled when you said that you were incorporating those arguments because that's what was in the briefing before you on that day. Um, I appreciate the fact that uh, you did not say every word that's in the order that I'm proposing, but that's fine. It, the, the written ruling need not have every, need not be a verbatim transcript of what your honor orally ruled, especially when you incorporated by reference what we had argued. Um, the problem with the plaintiff's proposed order is that it indicates that you accepted that reasoning without any particular analysis, and I think that's misleading because you had read briefing and articulated that you had done so. And when you indicated that you were ruling in Lewis County's favor based on the rationales that it proposed, you were making reference to that briefing. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you had no rationale. It means that you just didn't say it out loud because it was already written down. So I request that you enter Lewis County's order for that reason. Um, the several problems that uh, plaintiffs allege exist in the order um, I think are not really problems. Um, the, the, let's start with the last one first. I think that's cleanest. I don't recall there being any argument, uh, perhaps I'm mistaken, but I don't recall there being any argument about uh, full-time versus part-time and whether that per se violates the PRA. That was not an issue in the case. There was testimony in Ms. Ambrine's declaration that she was able to fulfill her PRA duties um, until the amount of requests increased uh, as a full-time employee who did PRA work half-time. Um, and your honor found that Lewis County failed its duties under the PRA, uh, but as a matter of penalties, that it, it, uh, its failure was explained partially and was not in bad faith because it partially resulted from uh, a lot more work coming in, which Lewis County recognized and attempted to fix before this lawsuit by hiring a full-time person and by supplying that person ultimately with help. Uh, so I ask your honor to, to, to sort of reject that new argument and enter this order. I, I think the rest of it is set forth in the briefing. If your honor has any further questions, I'm happy to answer them. I don't, thank you. I just want to make sure that you both have an opportunity to be heard. Mr. Thomas, I'll give you uh, any last comments. Yeah, if I can just have one minute. I don't of course. Think I need too long. I just want to draw this court's attention to the um, 
transcript on page 37 of the transcript. Real quick before I end. I'm with you. And on page 37 of the transcript, I said to this court, Your Honor, can I clarify real quick? What is the finding, what is this court's finding in regards to the issue of public importance? Question mark. Um, the court said, hold on a second. And then I responded, I think, it's an, I think it's important for the appeal for this court to clearly delineate each Yusufian factor on the record. This court responded, well, the court is not going to do it in that way. The court has adopted the rationale of Lewis County regarding the Yusufian factors. And that's the pertinent part I don't need to go on. This court has a transcript in front of it to review. Um, and so I asked the court in order to delineate each Yusufian factor, and the court declined. And it said that it was just going to rely upon um, Lewis County's argument. And I don't think that it's proper for this court in order to um, say to um, plaintiffs that they're not going to delineate the or go over each Yusufian factor when this Yusufian factor is meant in order to provide a framework for trial courts in order to have a meaningful appeal. And if the factors aren't going to be gone over or reviewed by this court in its order, I don't think it's, a, or in the oral ruling, I don't think it's appropriate in order to um, identify and to make the arguments in the order. And so, again, we just ask this court in order to um, sign the plaintiff's order because we think that's more um, indicative of what occurred at the penalty hearing. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, uh, I think Mr. Thomas ends on a, a good point. Th that particular quotation that he uh, read the, uh, he read part of, what the court stated is the following. Well, the court is not going to do it in that way. The court has adopted the rationale of Lewis County regarding the Yusufian factors, and I have elaborated that I went through each of those factors as I analyzed both of your arguments. And going through that and taking into account the uh, additional unique facts in this case is how I arrived at the ruling that I made. And so that would encapsulate that. That is the full ruling. And of course, as both attorneys know, the court spent quite a bit of time hearing argument. And I uh, elaborated during that 38 page uh, ruling uh, the fact that the court took into account all those factors and weighed them. And obviously, this is after finding in favor of the plaintiffs that Lewis County had violated the Public Records Act. The court is convinced after reviewing both proposed orders that Lewis County's order is a correct recitation of this court's order, and I would sign Lewis County's order. <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, following that order, we also have uh, judgments for Mr. Portland and Mr. Green and the amount of uh, which I believe are agreed. Yes. And so we'd like to hand those up too. Very well. Well, once you both have had an opportunity to review and sign uh, those uh, orders, I will review them, and if appropriate, I will sign them. While those documents are being handed up, I'll just note for the record that Annika Jensen et al. versus Chang Mu Son caused 1629634. That matter had been on for presentation of order, but the court issued an order uh, yesterday, and the parties were notified, and that matter will be stricken off today's calendar. Thank you both. Have a good weekend. You too, Your Honor. You're welcome.